Hey guys, welcome to the February 2020 unboxing of the Keto Crate. Less talking, more unboxing a Lego. Wait a minute, before I get started, don't forget, you can get a discount on your very first Keto Crate by using the link in the description box below. I cannot wait to see what's inside. All right. First of all, we have the amazing literature. Oh, they're like Valentine's and stuff. Oh, I am obsessed. And then of course, there's always all these amazing stories and recipes and transformation stories. This is absolutely great. I love it, don't forget to recycle. Jumping into the box. Oh, the first thing I see, moon cheese, you guys. I love moon cheese, white cheddar, black pepper. Absolutely. You guys, moon cheese is one of my favorite things ever. I do love that I get a flavor that I don't normally have. So at Costco, you know, they got the huge cheddar cheese one. What is it like? Mo cheddar, cheddar the better, something along those lines. They are delicious, but I'm so glad to have these for one of these pouches. There are 180 calories, 14 grams of fat. See two total carbs and 10 grams of fiber. I mean, worth it, worth it, worth it. Moon cheese is crunchy. It is salty. It is cheesy and it's delicious. Absolute winner. Next, we have a Love Good Facts peanut butter chocolatey bar. I will always be interested to try these, although I really don't think I like the Love Good Facts texture, but I'm a sucker for anything that is peanut butter and chocolatey, so I would be glad to give this a try. For one bar, there are 200 calories, 14 grams of fat, 12 total carbs, seven fiber, once again, that says zero sugar alcohol. So that's five grams of carbs. Maybe there's some allulose in this and then 10 grams of protein. No, it is five grams of net carbs. Ooh, I don't know if I'm spending five grams of net carbs on a bar this size, but okay. Okay, love good fats. Let's see what you're talking about. Oh, next we have F-bomb salt and pepper pork stick. This is just a regular meat stick that nobody asked for. Like, I'm sure my husband and family are gonna have a field day with this. See, in a flavor like salt and pepper, I'm hoping that you can actually taste the salt and or pepper. So for one stick, 120 calories, 10 grams of fat, one grams of carbs, okay, and then six grams of protein. There is pork, water, sea salt, cracked black pepper, citric acid, celery powder, cherry powder, interesting, liquid smoke, coriander. Okay, so there's no sugar in here, but you know, with all that other stuff, one gram of carb, I would be interested in tasting it, but it's probably just gonna taste like another meat stick to me. Ooh, next we have Kiss My Keto Dark Chocolate Pumpkin Seed and Sea Salt. I've actually had this before, it's really good, I think, from what I remember. This is a great size bar, too. Ooh, I'm obsessed. It's broken, but that's okay. I can handle it. Okay, so for a bar like this, there are three servings per container, which, once again, I do not think that a bar like this, like, splits evenly in three. I don't know why they make the serving sizes so weird. Like, they should just, like, have it split in three, and then boom, that's a serving size. But you gotta do some real math <laughs> whenever you have bars like this. Three servings per container. Ooh, I do love that they put both the calories per serving and the calories for the whole bar on here. So I'm gonna go with the macros for the whole bar because that's definitely how I would eat this. For this bar, there are 350 calories, 34 grams of fat, ooh, ooh, 41 grams of total carbs, 23 fiber, and 14 erythritol. Y'all gonna have to give me a minute because this is some serious math right here. And then seven grams of protein. So that would mean like four net carbs? Yeah, so it's saying that per serving, it would be one net carb, but then if you ate all three of these, it would be four net carb. It's probably like a carb and a third per serving, but I'm spending four net carbs on this thing any day. See, here's what I don't get. Four net carbs, five net carbs, four net, like which, which one am I eating? You know, like it's just my personal preference, but these are delicious. Oh my gosh, shrewd keto dippers. Look at these little malted milk ball sort of things. Oh my gosh. I love shrewd food. I love their protein cheddar balls and I love their Parmesan croutons, but you're going to start dipping stuff in chocolate and just take it to a whole new level. Already I can see three grams of net carbs. So one serving per container, 150 calories, 11 grams of fat, 
14 total carbs, five fiber, six sugar alcohol. So that's three grams of net carbs and seven grams of protein. Oh my God, I cannot wait to try these. I am obsessed. <laughs> like, I don't know if I need to have like malted milk ball candies like as part of my keto diet on the regular, but like this would be an awesome snack. Like this is amazing. Oh my gosh, another thing that is amazing, Snack House uh, Foods has cheeseburger puffs. Now see, I'm, I'm very interested to try these because like, how do you make a protein puff taste like a cheeseburger? I don't know. But the imagery on the front is really nice. It says, I like big buns and I cannot lie. Well, they get a 10 for swag, I'll tell you that. Can you see that guy? He is a player. I mean, look, they have a cheeseburger with a bun and fries on here. A puff cannot taste like all of those things at once. I am still interested to see them. Okay, so per container, there are 110 calories, 4.75 <laughs> grams of fat, two total carbs, and 15 grams of protein. See, I do really appreciate how low in total carbs these are. Uh, these are mostly protein puffs, but I like that you could fit these into like a total carb sort of diet. They're not super clean, so it's like, I don't know if this would count as like carnivore or anything, but like if you're just counting 10 or 20 total carbs, you can definitely make a, a crunchy snack like this fit in, and I really appreciate that. I'm very interested to try these. Oh my gosh, a good to go bar. I know my mother is going to absolutely love this. We've had these so many times. They actually sent little mini sample bars to Keto Palooza, which was awesome. Good to go will always have a special place in my heart. I love these. These are pillowy, puffy, delicious, muffiny type goodness. My mom's gonna say that they go great with coffee, but I really love the, the muffin texture of these. For one bar, it is 170 calories, 13 grams of fat, 16 total carbs, seven fiber and five erythritol. So that's gonna be four net carbs for this. Uh, and then six grams of protein. Like Good To Go comes in so many different flavors. Vanilla almond is like maybe my third or fourth favorite. They have so many great flavors, but I am definitely glad to receive this. And I know that me and my family are gonna love it. Oh, and you know what else we're gonna love? Some front porch pecans. Now see, you see that? Sea salt. You don't gotta go put no crazy flavor on your pecans, just add salt. You know what I'm saying? So like, I am really excited about this. I mean, I know these are gonna taste great. They're just sea salt pecans. There are four servings per container. Jeez Louise, I mean, this is a nice size bag. I bet this would be probably like six to eight dollars if you were to get it in the store. Per serving, there's 210 calories, 22 grams of fat, woo! See, only four total carbs and three fiber, so one net carb. That's amazing, so four net carbs for this whole thing? Like, I would literally eat this whole thing. And then two grams of protein, this is awesome. I am definitely here for these salty pecans. Oh, what I'm not here for is super coffee. You guys know, I'm just not here for beverages. I've yet to come across a beverage in like a keto crate or keto box that I've been like, wow, this is amazing. And I'm just not into canned coffee as it is. I have a very complex bulletproof coffee regimen and generally things that come in cans like this don't cut it. But this is super coffee, sweet and creamy mocha. I know my family is going to enjoy trying this. It all started in our little brother's dorm room. That's funny. Tired of unhealthy energy drinks, we removed the negatives and added the positives. Because if we change our energy, we can change our world. Oh, that is cute. I'm gonna give it a try though. Okay, so for one can, there are 80 calories, three grams of fat, four total carbs, two fiber, so that's two net carbs, and 10 grams of protein. Wow, mm-hmm. So yeah, the ingredients, Colombian coffee, milk protein isolate, cocoa powder, MCT oil, potassium phosphate, monk fruit, like these are just never sweet enough for me, but I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. Oh my gosh, and then we have Chalk Zero, the raspberry dark chocolate rose for Valentine's Day. I am excited because it's a rose and it's chocolate. I really don't know what the raspberry has to do with this. I know my husband would like that a lot, like, is it raspberry filled? I don't know. But like, see, this is what I love from the Keto Crate. You can tell it's Valentine's Day because of the seasonal items that they put in. So I am obsessed with this. Okay, so this heart 
there are three servings in this heart, right? So one serving is 110 calories, 11 grams of fat, 15 total carbs, and 13 fiber. So two grams of net carbs, uh, zero sugar alcohol, and one gram of protein. What are they making it sweet with? Dark chocolate, okay, soluble corn fiber, mm, non-GMO resistant dextrin, ugh. Sunflower lecithin, dry raspberry, monk fruit extract, Madagascar bourbon vanilla beans. Ooh, fancy. Uh, okay, so I would still, I mean, I'm still going to be interested to try this. Like raspberry powder, though, I don't know. Like, but I am very, very excited. Oh, my gosh. Something else I'm excited about, too. Simply Delish Chocolate Instant Pudding. We've received this before. It is delicious. Now, Honestly, this, even though it's keto and low carb, like in my opinion, it still has a lot of net carbs in it, but it's really good. Like if you're missing pudding, this is really good. So four servings per container, 30 calories, zero grams of fat. There are nine total carbs, four sugar alcohol, like in like one fiber. So that's still four net carbs per quarter serving of this, uh, and then less than one gram of protein. But the cool thing is, is you only have to beat one packet into two cups of milk or one and a quarter cup of a milk substitute, like almond milk. So you just pour into a serving dish and allow to stand for five minutes. Like, it's amazing. And then if you put that in the refrigerator even more, like the, the pudding is delicious. It still has a bunch of carbs, but I guess that's just the way that pudding is. But I love this stuff. Oh my gosh, and then we have Better Than Good Foods Protein Breakfast Puffs. Okay, cinnamon roll. So this has been a very puff-heavy keto crate, but I am definitely here for all the flavors. We have chocolate dipped, we have cheeseburger, and now we have cinnamon roll. Now these are my type of puffs. Sweet cinnamony puffs? What? I can already tell these feel like like softer almost like they're made, they're like coated in like a like a cinnamon sugar sort of situation but as you can see they're they are just literally like little like white puffs though so i'm definitely interested to see how these taste there are two servings per container and there are 170 calories in a serving 10 grams of fat 16 total carbs 12 grams of fiber and four sugar alcohol so is that zero net carbs interesting and then 10 grams of protein does that say zero zero net carbs zero net carbs i'm not buying it i would definitely lop some carbs into this but this is interesting i cannot wait to try this ah oh, and then finally we have some southern recipe small batch pork rinds i uh recently became obsessed with these because i did a television segment on them what for Super Bowl snacks, you can go to my website, www.watchautumnketo.com to see me on the local news talking about Southern Recipe small batch pork rinds. But I'm actually really excited that I got that segment because I normally don't buy these. I normally just get the Meyer brand of pork rinds, but these are so good. Like specifically the sea salt and cracked black pepper because they are so salty and so peppery and so crunchy like I was like I never would have tried these otherwise so thank you but now I'm gonna have to buy them on a splurge they're still like more expensive than the Meyer pork rinds but they are an awesome flavor serving size is one package thank you very much there are 130 calories eight grams of fat one total carb and 14 grams of protein like I am absolutely here for these okay guys this month's keto crate was amazing it is the best of all worlds it are some things that i absolutely know that i love some things that i've never heard of and i'm really excited to try and some things that i've actively been looking for right i'm talking about you chalk zero rose yes so like i love 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 the keto crate comment down below and let me know which item in this month's keto crate would you be most excited to try have you tried let me know what you think and you could be the winner of your very own february keto crate we'll be drawing the winner in the smash the crate video the monthly series where my family and i try every item in this keto crate so we show it to you and then we tell you what it's about in about a week so come back and check and let us know comment in this video but don't forget if you don't want to leave it up to chance look y'all know them chalk zero roses are going to be sold out if they're not sold out already so if you don't want to leave it up to chance and you want to get your own february keto crate right now go ahead and use the link in the description and you can get a discount on your very first keto crate i'm excited you guys i know that with 75 hard like a lot of this stuff i didn't participate last time but i might have to have me a bite or two of this stuff like so many things i've never 
ever heard of before, right? Where are them other puffs? Look at all these puffs, guys. Hashtag all the puffs, right? I am so excited. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you over on Smash the Crate. Bye.